Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with pocket option. And of course, I have here another great strategy for the week. All right, so what I normally do now is that I usually um, check on my previous video, one of the greatest strategy I've actually uploaded in the past. I try to check on them, work on the settings so that it's definitely going to fit on the current market. And this strategy right here I have on the screen is one of them, right? It's a very easy strategy and a very, very effective. So I want you guys to stay tuned with, with me on this one. So the first indicator we're using here is called moving average. So that is our first indicator and the period right here is 28, where the moving average here is EMA. On this type part here, I actually leave the color to be green, which is the main color, and I take uh, my line to be on two pixels. So when you're done, you hit save. So that's pretty much what you have to do on the moving average. The second indicator we're using is CCI with a period of 18. All right, and the star right here, I actually take all the line here to be on two pixel. So that's pretty much all I did on the star. So when you're done, you hit save. So the last indicator we are using here is called momentum with a period of 13. So we only are going to change the period right here on 13 on the star part. We don't need to touch anything here. It is actually a default setting on the star. So just let the all be green and the down be red and you hit set. So that's pretty much all we are setting up. So right now, let me put up my currency. Okay, we are doing this on one minute. Don't forget that we're doing this on one minute. Um, what's it called? Trade time. And the candle time frame we're using here is actually 30 seconds. What the Heineke actually can do, all right? So right now, I'm going to put up my currency up here real quick. Like I said, I didn't really not recommend you using autism auto market because it's kind of, uh, what's it called, manipulative with the brokers. But always make sure that you're using with, um, uh, what's it called? With the normal market, which is normal, normal peers without no um or well, without no um um OTC on them. All right. So right now, let me put this up real quick. Okay, guys, I have my peers up. Another thing I want to point out um it seems that I have uh what's it called? Someone actually indicated in the comment section on my last video that the CHF is not really a good peer to trade on. So always make sure that you put this out. I actually check it out myself and I actually discovered the reason. Um, that was a called the peers is not really, really, really um very strong. It's like it's very lagging in some of the market, even when the market is really great. So always make sure that you're taking them out with any other peers, all right? So that is just what I want to say, guys. So right now, how this strategy works is a very simple, like I used to say, it's a very simple strategy. All we're just going to look at is on a very simple. We are looking something out with our uh, moving average. The same thing should occur with our sys uh, and our momentum, and which I'm going to show you guys when I have the moment. So right now, I'm definitely going to be taking, uh, what's it called, my time to analyze in the market. So when I get a good moment, I'll calm down. And I'll take a trade. Of course, I'm going to show you the moment that I see before I enter a trade and the full details on how this strategy works. All right. So right now I'll be analyzing guys. So when I say good moment, I'll come down and take a trade. Okay, guys, a good moment here. I'm going to enter a trade on this one. All right. I took a trade on that. Um, over here, the number one thing we are looking at before we enter a trade with this strategy is a trend. All right. But on this part, it is very, 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 very different. What you have to see here. The number one thing we are looking at with our moving average, if we are taking a trade to go up, which is the kind of trade I take right now, is to make sure that we have our moving average below the candle we are taking a trade on. Not only below the candle, always make sure that you have your moving average following the trend. As you can see, the moving average actually went down here. But when this on this particular candle here, it start pulling up in the market. So it is very important. But the most important thing we need to look at before we decide to put a trade is our CCI. Why I said that is that always make sure that you have your CCI in the over but level. What I mean is that always make sure that your CCI is heading up. It can be from this position. Let me zoom in so we can see. It can be from right from this position or to the top. What I'm talking about is I always make sure that your CCI is very close to the overbought level. So as you can see in the money and that, always make sure that your CCI is very close to the overbought level or even um, or even out of the um even out of the overbought level line. All right. So always make sure that is either it is very close to the overbought level. What I mean by overbought level is this top line here of the CCI. Is it is um, your what's it called this line? The bridge line here is actually really close to it or out of the um 
or out of the line but the most important is to make sure that it is following the trend it is actually heading up all right so um as you can see right this position before i actually place the trade here the market was actually heading up so good but right now it's actually dropping if it is like this it's not a good moment for you to take a trade if it is like this it is not a good moment it's not recommended for you to take a trade but always make sure that your cci is very very close to the uh what's it called to the upper line here or just out of it but there must be on the trend like what i mean by on the trend there must be heading up and the market if you are taking a trade not only that the confirmation of our momentum is just to show the color of the trade you are taking out so if it is bad your momentum must change to green if it is red it must change to uh what's it called if you are taking a um, buy option it must change to green if you're taking an sl option it must change to red but the most important thing we are looking at it our CCI all right so I'm going to <coughs> keep analyzing so when I get another good money I'm going to enter a trade and of course I'll take my time to actually explain on this CCI very well because that's the most important thing on this strategy so right now I'm analyzing again so when I get another good moment I'll come down and take a trade okay guys you're having a good momentum here this is a very good one again let me enter the trade real quick so as you can see okay let me actually explain this real quick this is what i'm talking about here at times so you can see our CCI is actually really dropping but this time around since we are taking the trade to come down we need to have the CCI very close to the oversold position oversold level like this the down line here as you can see the CCI is actually dropping a straight line right but right now when it actually hits it actually bent here but before you enter a trade make sure that the cci is actually on a straight line like on a uh, what's it called following the trend that is very very important make sure your cci is following the trend and not on don't take a trade when the cci is in the middle of the uh was when this line is in the middle of the both cci line here the overboard and the uh, the oversold line of cci always make sure that you take a trade only when you see the middle line i uh, was it called this middle line here of the cci dropped right dropped close to the uh what's it called close to the the oversold position line of the cci dropped and it's actually heading down on the trend not like when it's bent as you can see over here it actually bent as you can see when money on that over here it's actually bent not that when it's bent only take a trade when it's actually dropping just like on this position all right when it's actually dropping it's very important and of course you can see on our momentum it's actually changed um to red like, like what i said the other time and over here our moving average too this is very important the two important thing is the moving average and the CCI. but the most important thing is this your CCI. your moment your moving average too must be heading down with the trend all right it must be above if you are taking a trade to come down like the other time when we take the trade to go up we have our moving average below the candle so but this time if you're taking a trade to come we must have our moving average above it and not only that it must be actually heading down on the trend like it must be following the trend all right i hope you understand so that's pretty much all you have to look at this strategy is a very great strategy and very simple if you actually follow all this guideline here you're definitely going to make a very good profit with this one so right now i'm analyzing again so when i get another good moment i'll come down and take a trade and of course i'm going to explain better again okay guys a good moment here i'm gonna enter to trade on this um okay another thing guys i really wanted to mention this particular point i never really checked the previous candle as you can see this particular piece is very very bad if you actually check the previous candle they are very very uh what's it called on a very unstable market so i don't really really check before i plus the trade as you can see over here our <coughs> sorry our cci actually dropped which is not supposed to be but I just hope this is going to be a good moment. But what I actually see here is that I find a very good moment of this. I will actually place the trade on this point. As you can see, this is actually went up very good here. So that is what I actually see before I place the trade. And of course, I see that I have a good moment with my moving average below the candle. And of course, I have a good moment too with my momentum. But please, guys, always make sure you stay out of this particular um what's it called um peers so let's make sure you check at least the previous trade for like um an hour previous trade if they can do and not really great okay as you can see we lost out on the trade which is very bad so please guys let's make sure you put this in mind if the can do or if the previous can do on this um what's it called is not really great don't put a trade always make sure you have a very stable market how you know you have a stable market is so let's make sure that you have a lot of a strong can do in the midst of the hours uh, call in the midst of the candle that you want to take a trade on always make sure that your candle are very strong not like this um this kind of choppy candle right here if you're finding a lot of choppy candle on your peers it doesn't really make sense for you to take a trade on that as you can see for a very long time right from this position 
let me actually check this here right from this arm from here down to this part for over like four hours we'll be having a bad signal but i think this current candle is getting good yeah this current candle is getting good but still i'm not going to risk it again i'm going to pull out the trade pull out the currency here so i'm still analyzing guys we actually lost out on that but let's keep analyzing so when i get another good moment i'll place a trade hopefully i'm going to recover i was a call the last money okay guys a good moment here i'm going to enter a three trade on that all right so over here what i actually observe is the fact that my uh what's it called my sister is actually going down very strong here we actually place a position if you actually check that i'm moving average i'm moving average on this point that um what well, the last few can do here was not really strong but the confirmation actually happened here that's how that's the reason why the moving average is actually following the trend the next candle was really really strong i'm so certain that i'm going to be having a get uh, i was i'm going to having i'll be having a great moment with the next candle so that's the reason why i actually place this trade here the confirmation of my cci is very 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 obvious like you can see it's actually dropping so good on this position and right here in the position the um the momentum signal actually changed straight which actually gave me go ahead on that point all right so guys let's wait and see um this is actually a very good moment on this one so i actually place a trade trade on this so that i actually recover um the money i lost on the last trade i took a good one there win the money on that that's a good one so guys right now i'm going to take my last trade but this moment i'm definitely going to be analyzing the good market so when i get a good moment i'll come down and take a trade all right okay guys a good moment here i'm going to enter a trade on this one so as you can see our ccii two is following the trend it's actually heading up right on this position um the momentum actually changed color so that was the reason why i was even confident that uh what's it called the market is definitely coming down if you actually checked out the our moving average it's actually head up here and it's actually following the trend to come up so i know that any moment i'll be having a pull down on the market so that's the reason why i have to pull the trade so it's actually happening now so guys all you have to keep very um what's it called the note all you have to keep in mind is euro um cci <coughs> all right that is the magic here this is the most important uh, indicator in all the trading cases we're using here following by the moving average all right make sure your your cci is actually heading up so good don't take a trade when there's a bent on the cci don't take a trade when there's a reversal a little bit of reversal on the cci can cause a huge problem because any moment the market can pull back all right always make sure that you're taking a trade when you see that your cci is actually following the trend straight and it's very close to any of the level maybe the overbought or the oversold level before you decide to pull in the trade is very important as you can see in the morning the last trade and always make sure that you have your moving average above the candle following the trend if you're taking a trade to come down or below it going up following the trend if you're taking a trade to go up so that is a confirmation you need to see with your moving average and the momentum too needs to change color is very important the momentum needs to have the confirmation that the, really the market is actually coming down or going up so that's pretty much all you have to look at this is a very great strategy if you actually put them in hours uh, call put everything i said here in practice it's a very very great strategy and it's very easy the one thing i love about uh what's it called my the one thing i love about indicators the way i actually place my indicators so make sure that everybody have access to understand everything i'm saying that's why it's i i i, I don't usually have a jump pad indicator that will make it difficult for the newbies to understand i always make sure that i give you a strategy that is very 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 simple to understand or very simple to use and at the same time very effective so that's the most important thing i used to work on on my videos i hope you like this again if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next upload and also make sure you join my telegram links i actually have a forex links to on my forex free signal links to on my description for my forex channel so make sure you join my forex channel you find a link in the description and also join the telegram group where i provide you a free signal and also make sure you join this uh what's it called the binary option um which is one of my largest uh what's it called telegram page on the telegram so make sure you join that too so that you'll be the first to know each time i drop a video i love you guys and i'll see you on another video